The Department of Energy will release another 15 million barrels from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, extending our previously announced release through the month of December. We need to responsibly increase American oil production without delaying or deferring our transition to clean energy. Let me, uh, let's debunk some myths here. My administration has not stopped or slowed U.S. oil production. Wow. Really? Let's find out if that's true. Joining me now, my friend Brian Dean Wright of the Great President's Daily Brief podcast. I subscribe every day. You should subscribe. Actually, you only have to subscribe once. Never mind. I listen every day. Brian, um, Joe Biden hasn't done anything for our oil production. What are you talking about? Oh, man, that guy, fake news and that claim. So look, the bottom line from a permitting process and encouraging our oil and gas industry to drill, that's just not true. He is slowing down that process and he is disincentivizing the oil and gas industry from drilling because as he said, we're not going to stop in our desire for dirty green energy. We want solar and wind. We don't want any of that oil and gas stuff. So that is the, the big atmospheric condition, as it were, that's preventing a lot of uh, folks in the oil and gas industry from doing what they want to do, which is they're being prevented from engaging in, in their uh, d- development of oil and gas. So Biden's just not right when he says that. Okay, I, I do find it funny that the president actually and all of his advisors, they all say the same thing. We need to get off this filthy, disgusting oil and gas and we're going to screw those scumbags over the first chance we get. Also, hurry up and make more oil while we switch to solar panels. Do I have that about right? Yes, we might say we're pushing on the gas pedal and the brake at the same time, which I'm not sure where most of us learn how to drive, but that's not usually how you do it because it ends up causing all kinds of problems. In this case, we got weird, crazy market conditions. Uh, we got a, you know this Inflation Reduction Act, which is really a climate change bill, hundreds of billions of dollars for solar. But although, by the way, we still need all that dirty, dirty, wonderful oil and gas. Doesn't make any sense. Well, he also uses this line, they love using this throughout, of they're making record profits. Companies are making record profits. Are the oil companies making record profits? What's going on? All right, so let's unpack this because Biden and his team continually attack three different groups of people, gas stations, refineries, and oil and gas companies. So let's start with the first one. Gas companies are not the boogeyman here, all right? They may make about two to five cents per gallon off uh, off your gas when you go to a station. Most of the profits that they make are actually in the convenience stores. So let's just be very clear with that one. And about 60% of every single store you see these gas stations, they're owned by a mom and pop outfit. So not a big corporate conglomerate. Second, the oil refinery issue. Biden has attacked these guys as well. But the issue here is we used to have 250 oil refineries in this country back in the 1980s. Today, it's half that number. So you have less capacity to make oil and gas and other petroleum products. So that's really the issue here. Plus, oil refineries right now are at 95, 99% capacity. So this is not a bunch of you know crazy refineries trying to squeeze out more profits. They may be making more profits, and they are, but that's because the, the oil and gas, I should say the barrel, the cost for a barrel of gas and oil is up tremendously. So that takes us to our last boogeyman, of course, the oil and gas industry itself, the folks who pump it out of the ground. The thing is, they're not colluding to create the price of oil. It is a market-based decision. And that, of course, is being set by lots of different factors from the war in Ukraine to, yes, there is an oil cartel called OPEC and OPEC+. Plus. Those are the folks that Joe Biden just really made angry a couple of weeks ago when he said, hey, don't, don't cut oil production. They were like, nah, we're going to do it anyway. So the bottom line is there is no boogeyman other than market conditions. And Joe Biden is just flopping around trying to blame anybody but himself.